Hello again. This is Tim from Timigunumig Yuch. And today, Hallitzord. Actually, the park below the lower station of the wing, Wings of Tatev, aerial tramway above the village of Hallitzord. A lot of you maybe have taken the tramway up or down to Tatev, and you've seen the monastery up there, and you know the tramway. But did you know that the Tatev Valley is much more than just a tramway and a monastery, as good as those are? This festival, done by the Homeland Development Initiative Foundation and the Tatev Revival Foundation, with the support of Kalikia Beer and the SDA, the Swiss Development Agency. And it's just an amazing thing we're seeing here. So I, I, these festivals are just great. It gives us a lot of positive impulses. And more importantly, not only us from the outside, but it gives people who live here and work here every day hope for the future. And that's dramatic sounding. But it is about giving them the idea that it's possible to do something to change their own futures. So let's have a walk around this wonderful festival here. It's going to be tough getting to the tables of handicrafts because they're so popular and they're selling so fast. And we're only two hours into the festival that we're going to have trouble getting to the tables. But we'll try. Let's try. Okay. If we go over here, let's start. What the heck? Let's start here. This... These are products actually from Yerevan, but because of the sheep theme, they've invited them to this festival. These are done by a woman named Gayan Avatisyan in Yerevan, and you can get them in the shops in Yerevan, but the, the organizers of the event thought it was so appropriate that, that the sheep theme was being used here, that they invited them down to participate here. And I see there are some things missing from the table. There are no more big pillows. Big pillows? Chika. So, sold them all, the big pillows, okay. A few of the small ones left. Oh, there's a big one left, there is. And we gotta let the customers get in. Okay, let's let the customers get in. And then we move over here, and we have a woman, as far as I understand, from the village of Tatev itself, who is, let me spin around, making sheep themes, little baby beanies, and socks, and vests, and things like that. We've got Armen, also from the village of Tatev, taught by his father Azad. Azad is not here now. But anyway, these are great. These are authentic Armenian shoes that they used thousands of years ago, made into a smaller form as a key tag or as a magnet. Where are the magnets here? Here are the magnets. Whoa, they're sticking to each other. These are the magnets. So he's been working away and he can make shoes that fit you actually. People have been asking, can you make them in my size? And he's been saying yes. These are real, authentic Armenian shoes. And then the baby, oh my gosh, I was here looking half an hour ago and she had a bunch of baby shoes here and they're all gone. Literally three, six, eight. Oh my goodness, she's doing good business. Believe me, these are rattles. This is a sheep rattle. Great stuff. Okay, let's turn around and go the other way. And we can, what if six? Well, <laughs> Uh, few, few people know me here, and I'm not quite sure who they are, but hey, why not? Okay, let's go over to the Gordis, Gordis Women's Resource Center Foundation here. And this is one of their great creations. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And we've got... We've been having a joke with this, actually, since we've been calling the, the Bahabian family. But I've been corrected by the Armenians saying, no, it's the Mayan family, not the Babian family. Anyway, and they come in their little, this Babian family has in a little house bag. Nune, have you sold any of these house bags today? Have you sold? You've sold. How? One bag, one bag with the family, not an empty house, uh, a full house. Okay, very good. And of course, they've got all their wonderful animals and coasters and things that you are so familiar with. We're going to see other great things from the Gordis Women's Resource Center Foundation. If we move along over here, these are great things. I love these things. These are pencil tops. A Bahavian pencil top. I love that. That's so cute. That's so cute. And so they've only got five left. It's a good thing we came when we did because those are disappearing fast. And what else have we got here? Oh, they made, oh my goodness, they, I haven't even seen these. They made sheep muffins. Okay, I'm going to risk losing my microphone for a second. Just 
How does that work? Does it work well? I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's move along. This is people inspecting the products, choosing the products. Oh my goodness, here are, look at the, I know where those came from. You've seen one of our early episodes of To Make a New Make Your at the Vartini Sewing Project. That's where these came from, I strongly suspect. These are the, these are the sheep themed pot holders and the oven gloves here. And we've got, we've got the fartuk, the apron to match. Great stuff. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Ha! Oh, this is level. This is level. This guy is a story all by himself because he is 15 years old, 15 years old, and this is what he's making. Of course, it's with the help of his father, Barov John Vonses, Laves. Ah, shut up. This is, this is Levon's work, and I can see earlier today he had eight or nine of these sheep chairs, and now there's only four. He's only got four left, I see. He's got clocks and the pegboards, everything sheep themed. Great stuff. He's got a bright future. You know, can you imagine that kid making the interior of your Armenian souvenir shop, of your cafe or your restaurant? The kid is only 15 years old and he's churning out these things. He's just great. So, ah, the ceramics. This is a this is a ceramics project in Sisian, and I see I see all the sheep themed salt and pepper shakers, the little animals, the plates, and everything. Lilith. Can I talk to you for a second? Lilith from the Armenian Young Women's Association. I just happened to run into her. We know her well. She's working with the women around the country doing lots of great projects. What do you think about today's festival? Today is a wonderful day. It is celebration, uh, not only for organizers, but also for visitors. And we are very happy that uh, an organization like HDIF and uh, Boris uh, Women Resource Center, they uh, have this opportunity to make uh, women life in Armenia better and uh, happier. Show them what's possible. That's what I keep saying. Just show them what's possible. Believe in us a little bit and we'll show you what's possible. That's the idea. Both of our organizations. Great. Thank you very much, Lily. That's great. Let's have a look. These things, they were telling me how this is a traditional, before they had the brass sheep bells, they used ceramic ones. This is a traditional ceramic sheep bell that they've made into mobiles and also into like brooches and things. Okay. What else are we doing here? And the coffee cups. They had red sheep coffee cups a few minutes ago. They're gone. Okay, they're gone. Anyway, this is great. This is this stuff is selling like hotcakes. Okay. And this, an extension of the Gordis Women's Resource Center Foundation Pavilion here at the Sheep Sharing Festival in Halitzor, is this pavilion called From Wool to Carpet. You, we know that we cut wool from a sheep. But did you know that, I mean, we know that your car, the carpet on your living room floor is wool, but did you know how it gets there? So if we run very quickly through this, if we run very quickly through this, this is, where's the, oh, we're doing it backwards, I'm sorry. We're doing it backwards, but anyway, that's okay. She's weaving the thread into a shawl or a carpet or a pillow, right? And here's, here's an old carpet. And they're all weaving here. I love their costumes, by the way. Great costumes. This is great stuff. It doesn't get more Armenian than this. I'd like to ask her a question, actually. Yeah. What is this? In specific, loving. Yeah. Can you can you tell me? Um, did you do this in your family when you were younger? So she's learned how to do this later. It hasn't been passed down from mother to daughter exactly. But it's beautiful. Shat Sirune Gorsa. Shat Sirune. Aprek. We have to go out from under the tent. Bada says. Bada says. So here, this is the fun part. This is the fun part. This is where they're actually doing what they used to do all those years ago. And this spinning of yarn, see? Taking the wool that has been 
carded, where the fibers have been split, and then spinning it into as even as possible a thread. That's the traditional way of doing it. It's very time-consuming, and it's, it's, it's hard labor, but the results are amazing. So you see the old-fashioned way here, and these the, the new simple machines that they're using there. Yeah, And you see with her Zangazur, Zangazur is the name of this region in the old days, and this is a traditional pair of socks from this region. So she's, ha she's having fun. I can't sit on the ground like that for long. Wonderful stuff. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a little taste of what we're seeing here at the Sheep Shearing Festival in Halitsur in Sunik, Mars, in southern Armenia. So, uh, and we've just touched the surface. We haven't even looked at the foods. We haven't looked at the kids' village. We haven't looked at half of what's going on here, including we have not looked at the sheep shearing itself. But anyway, it's a taste of what's going on here today in Halitsur.